Hello, it is Monday and it is a new weekly reading vlog. I have had a pretty productive couple of days. So, yesterday I did finish So This Is Ever After by F.T. Lukens. This was a five star. This author is now solidified as an auto by author for me because both of the, their books have been five stars for me and I've absolutely loved every second of reading them. I cried on sprints. Um, I don't think anyone saw they might have. I forgot to turn my camera off and I cried. Um, but it was amazing. I loved it. I loved the characters. I loved the plot. I loved the writing. I loved everything about this book. So good. Um, and then I started my buddy read of Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb, which is the first book in the Rainwild Chronicles series. And then I can actually move my bookmark because today I read buddy read pages as well so we're like 120 pages in um i am a little bit bored i'm not gonna lie yesterday's pages were quite interesting we got to see some dragons today's pages were a bit boring but i am trying to keep in mind that this was supposed to be one half of a book and not an entire book because the first two books in this series were originally one book and they were split into two. So I feel like this is going to be really badly paced, like, and I'm trying to remember that when reading it. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, oh, the buddy read started today with Lisa and Siobhan. We started Proud of the Orange Tree. I'm really excited to be rereading this. Um, and we are like 50 pages in. 50 pages in I'm very excited and Lisa's already read today's pages which is good um so yeah I'm really excited to be rereading this and I'm really hoping that Lisa and Siobhan manage to actually get through the book this time and, and enjoy it and um I'm loving how Ash is gonna try and outrace us and see if she can finish the book before Lisa does um and she's already powered through like a massive chunk of it so I'm like I'm proud Ash I'm proud <laughs> um so yeah I read them and then this evening I was going to try and read some of Legendarium but I was doing some like planning bits um so I um sort of planned out the rest of chapter three of my fic and planned out chapter four it's just basic but I've, I've made the initial plan, which is what I need. I've signed up for NaNoWriMo. I will only be doing a very soft NaNoWriMo. Like, I have got the goal for 50,000 words, but that's not going to all be in one fic. I have labelled the project as, like, multiple fics um, because I do have, like, quite a few ideas and also the ones that I do have, I don't think I can make an entire story out of them. I'm not that talented. So I'm just going to do like shorter ones and see what I can do. I'm also not going to be too cut up if I don't hit 50,000 words. It's more of a case I'm going to give myself a goal to write something every day, even if that something is just doing a bit of planning. So yeah, that's that's my goal for NaNoWriMo. I'm really excited though. And it's Ash's fault that I'm doing this because she encouraged me. Um, but last night I watched the first two Scream films. I've not seen them in years. Well, that's a lie. I've not seen the first one since last year because I watched the first one over and over again. Yes, I need therapy. Um, but I haven't watched the second and third and fourth ones for years. So I watched the second one and then I'm going to watch the third and fourth because I want to watch the new one that came out this year. So... That's basically what I have. I also printed out the bits for West End Readathon for next month, um, like the little ticket stubs with the prompts on, and I've done a cute little thing in my planner for that. I haven't planned books yet. I will do that at some point. But I am, um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I did watch the, um, I watched the Mega Six performance for yesterday's evening show at six and obviously because it was the cast changeover they got all of the cast alternates everything out on stage to say goodbye to the ones that are going and i cried watching the video i am very excited to see it tomorrow with the new cast but also it's going to be a very bittersweet feeling because some of them are gone 
but I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I'm also on earliest this week, which means I'm starting at eight and finishing at four. And it was just so nice to come home before rush hour properly starts. I got a seat on the train and everything. It was amazing. But on that note, I'm going to get to bed because it's like 11 o'clock and I need to sleep before tomorrow. Um, and let's be real, I'm going to read fanfic, but that's not the point. I will catch up with you probably Wednesday now, although knowing me, I'll get home from six and want to tell you all about it. So maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. We'll see. It is Tuesday and guess who's back? Back again. Yeah, it's me. Hello, it is Tuesday. I am going to give you a really quick update and then talk about six because of course I am. So I did my buddy read pages for Dragon Keeper. Um, today's pages were a bit more interesting. However, something happens in them which I'm right. I, this is at least the second time, possibly third time, that Robin Hobb has put this one particular thing in her books and I just don't think it's necessary at all. And I, it's just, it's it's really making me not want to continue reading. Which is a shame. Because I wanted to read this because dragons. But we'll see. I might try and power through and see how this one goes. But yeah. And then, oh, it's really hard to lift this up. I read my buddy read pages for Prayer of the Orange Tree. Like, I don't really know what else to say about this book at the moment. Because, like, this where this is a reread for me. I don't want to risk spoiling something. But also, like... At the moment, my brain is sort of like starting to remember everything that happens throughout the book and I'm getting myself mixed up with what's already happened in my reread and what's going to be happening later in the book. And this doesn't usually happen to me. I can usually like differentiate between like, like when I'm rereading something. So it's really odd that this is happening. I don't, I don't really know what's happening, but it's, it's going to make it really hard to talk about it in the group chat. For the buddy read because like i don't want to risk saying something that's a spoiler um but yeah that's the only reading i've done today um and then i did go see six it was the first night of the new cast and they were so so good so obviously um aragon is now played by rianne louise um, I am still learn like trying to remember their names, so bear with me because I've only known about them for like three weeks. Um, so yeah, our uh, Rianne Louise is incredible as Aragon. I will say, Amy is still my favourite Aragon that I've seen. Um, it would take a lot to to beat Aragon. That like Amy is Aragon. Not gonna lie, um, but Rianne Louise was incredible. Like the note. Oh, if you've heard No Way Live, or even just in general, you know what note I'm talking about. Mm. Yes. Um, and then Bailey is now Bolin, and Bailey is really good as Bolin. I'm just going to say that now. I do think I might prefer them to Amanda, even though I love Amanda, don't get me wrong. They're not better than Danielle. No one's going to beat Danielle as Bolin. Just putting that out um but I'm, I'm really finding it hard to get over the fact that they're not british <laughs> they, they don't have a british accent and this is why i can't listen to the broadway recording because they're american and it just i don't know what it is like usually usually this doesn't bother me like if uh, like there's a show and it goes from a person with a certain accent to another person with a different accent usually it does not bother me i i don't know why like it is so much i don't know but yeah bailey is really fun and they've like made this role their own and oh they were so much fun as bolin 
and it was just so much fun um i've said so much fun too much um claudia and dion are obviously still seymour and cleves oh, amazing as always i've never not loved it when they're in the show um coco as howard is amazing i'm really liking how um she reminds me a little bit of danielle as howard because she's got that sort of like vibe and energy and her voice her voice and that last little bit of the song like the end of the song Oh my god, it always gives me goosebumps. And I've only ever seen Tisme and Danielle play Howard before today. Tisme's never made me cry with that final bit. But it, she gave me goosebumps. Danielle, I'm like nine times out of ten sobbing by that point. And then Coco coco brought tears to my eyes with it so that's the thing and i'm being really vague because i don't want to ruin like it for people that haven't seen it because this thing in particular isn't in the soundtrack it might be in the broadway one i don't know i didn't get that far into the broadway one because i didn't like the american accents in it um but yeah i also don't think the broadway one they do it as well they don't put as much into it and i'm not i'm not a fan anyway then we have Roxanne. So Roxanne was an alternate before. I only ever saw her as Seymour once. And so I knew that she has an amazing voice. So I was really excited when I found out that she's now par for good. Um, I was not expecting her to be as amazing as she was. Like I knew she was going to be amazing. I didn't think she'd be that amazing. But holy Jesus, she was incredible. I'm so excited to see Roxanne play Par more often. Um, speaking of, I currently have one ticket booked. But I will be booking at least another ticket when I get paid. Because me and Ash are going to see it at the beginning of December. And then the week after, me and Liv are going to go see it. And they're the ones I've got to book when I get paid. And also when I get paid, I'm booking up the sing-along tickets, if there's still tickets available. Um, but it's not till May unfortunately but at least if we've got the tickets we're good um so yeah i've been babbling for a long time about six again are we shocked um that was number 11 this was number 11 um and yeah makes me sad that i'm not going to be going to see it again for at least two weeks because um i don't have any money to <laughs> um but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I want to see it at least once in November. We'll see. But yeah, I am going to stop talking. I need to put my phone on charge because it is very low battery. It's like 10% now. I also need to buy myself a new portable charger when I get paid because my one broke and I don't have the money to get a new one at the moment. So that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get in my PJs and I'm going to get in bed and probably read some fan fiction let's be honest so i'll catch up with you tomorrow hello it is wednesday i'm gonna be honest i don't really have any updates other than i have read my buddy read pages of priory i have not read my buddy read pages of dragon keeper i have had one of those eh days nothing in particular just one of those days um i literally come home from work had a nice relaxing bath and wash my hair then I watched last week's Andor. Still need to watch this week's. Um, I watched last week's Andor. Last night's Bake Off. And then I wanted to get in bed and, and read. But I didn't have the motivation to. So instead I watched for the first time Free Guy. Which if you don't know what it is. It's a Ryan Reynolds film. However I wasn't watching it for Ryan Reynolds. I was watching it for Joe Keery. Um, and Ashley can probably confirm how thirsty my voice notes to her were because every time Joe Keery come on screen essentially and did anything just anything she got a voice note sorry Ash <laughs> um so yeah yeah um so I'm gonna go because I'm actually really tired so I'm hoping I can just like just crash so yeah hello 
well? No. It is Saturday. Um, we, we didn't vlog yesterday. We forgot. Um, but <laughs> Chloe got here yesterday evening. Um, we watched Heather's. It was very good. Well. It was nice watching <laughs> it from the comfort of my sofa. There were some weird editing choices. Oh, yeah, the editing choices are a thing. I'm hoping they don't do that with six. Because, <laughs> no. Um, let's go that way. Um, so, yeah, and then we, um, then we watched Free Guy. Yes, I know I watched it Wednesday. That is not the point. There's never too much Joe Keery in your life, okay? Um, Ash didn't get the voice notes this time. She just got messages. Um, I got to see the reactions in person though, it was fun. <laughs> he can't froth his oat milk in the morning, Chloe. <laughs> How can you expect me to not laugh at that? I, I said nothing, I just sat and laughed at you. I didn't mean to laugh out loud here. Um, so yeah, we are now on our way to Musical Con. There we go. <laughs> it's so hard not to say Musicon because it just rolls off the tongue. Um, we are Wednesday in Lydia, because of course we are. And yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog today. Am I probably not? This is me. We'll see, we'll see. issues with the sound which you know it's the first year we expect there to be something there's a big enough yeah. where the panels are there's nowhere to put it where you can't hear the main stage yeah but it's still it's still great um yeah, the port 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 i will have i'll put a clip in here of it and nobody in all of us knows that there is a Oh, the heathers as well there would have been a clip of that already because of course there would have been um but yeah it's just been really fun and now we're going back in and it's a panel isn't it it's cinderella. oh cinderella and then there's a panel so yeah I'll, we're also we got rush tickets we are going to see back to the future tonight which is amazing because i love that film and i'm really excited to see the musical and i actually haven't seen this film. I'm surprised <laughs> And yeah, we just spent way too much on a little amount of food. And now we're gonna go back in. Oh, look where I am. But I'm not going to see that one tonight. I'm going to see that one, which you can't see properly, but it's Back to the Future. We're going to see Back to the Future. Not six. I'm a bit sad. <laughs> we will be going to see it. But look, Back to the Future. Six, Back to the Future. <laughs> It is day two of Musical Con, it's Sunday. I don't usually vlog on a Sunday, but Musical Con. Musical Um Repping my Anne Boleyn today, because of course I am. I am not repping any. <laughs> um, we're getting in a really oh, nasty, oh, it stinks in here. Oh, quickly, oh, <laughs> happy London. But at least it's not the stairs. <laughs> this is true, this is true. I'm just not gonna touch anything. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you later.
Hello. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me, but I am walking back to mine. Look how pretty the sky is behind me. Um, it is raining, as you can probably tell. Um, musical Con was really fun today. We had a lot more chill time today. Um, we saw Seven. Um, we, um, we saw um, the Back to the Future panel, which was... It wasn't really a panel, it was... Um, the one who plays Marty, the one who plays Doc, and then Bob Gale, who wrote Back to the Future. Um, they did a little Q&A sesh, sesh? session, um, and that was really fun. And then um, they performed a song, not Rob Gale, obviously. <laughs> um, and we watched the cosplay competition, which was fun. Um, we just, we had a really chill day. We were sat down on the floor most of it. And obviously we then went and got lunch and... It was just nice and look at the sky. Um, but Chloe's gone to a gig and she's come back to mine later because um, her train home isn't till tomorrow. And I'm gonna go home. I'm like almost home now. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna take these shoes off because they are uncomfortable. I'm gonna eat my roast dinner, have a bit of a chill, and yeah, watch Doctor Who. I'm not ready for the doctor to change. Not ready to say bye to Jodie, but, you know. But, yeah, I'm wrapping this vlog up now because I'm done for the day. <laughs> I want to take my makeup off and just chill for the rest of the day. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Not much reading. Oh, I read fanfic today while we were just chilling, waiting for stuff. Um, and, yeah, hope you have enjoyed the vlog. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!